एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज सौम्या इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी परफॉर्मिंग दिस चैलेंज लैब इंटीग्रेट विद मशीन लर्निंग ए पी आईज दिस चैलेंज लैब कंटेन्स फाइव टास्क आई विल बी डूइंग ईच एंड एवरी टास्क एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन ईच ऑफ दिस टास्क हाउ टू परफॉर्म ईच ऑफ दिस टास्क इन डिटेल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द लैब क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट लैब सो नाउ आई एम इन द गूगल क्लाउड कंसोल लेट्स गो बैक टू अवर लैब In this challenge lab, we'll be creating a service account and we will grant the service account correct privileges for BigQuery and cloud storage. Next, we will create and download a service account credentials file. Next, we will modify this Python script to extract text from image files using the Google Cloud Vision API. Then we will modify the cloud script to translate text using the Google Translate API. Finally, we will check with the languages which are in extracted data by executing a BigQuery SQL query. so this are the setup and requirements how we how to start the lab so those details they have mentioned here so you can go through this if you are new to this lab means this is a challenge scenario so here you have been asked to develop a process to analyze sets of images of signage to extract and translate any text in the images then this extracted text information will be used to help classify the images as part of a machine learning project that will use this image data set for model training and evaluation the images all contain text but the text may be in any language the images are stored in a cloud storage bucket that has been provided for you so there is an image which is already stored in the storage bucket so we have to analyze this image so you must use a python script to process each of the image files by sending them to the google vision api to identify the text in the image so using the api we have to identify what kind of text is in the image and we have to analyze it then the text from each image must be saved back to files on cloud storage with a separate file for the text from each image if the text locale is not japanese so here they have provided the locale locale is a ja you must then send the text to the google translate api to get the japanese translation for the original text so if for example the text language is in another language then we need to send this text to the google translate api this our api will translate this for the original text in japanese once all of the images have been processed we have to upload this results to the bigquery table using the script this diagram outlines the process so what's happening here is uh, all the images are stored in cloud storage so this cloud vision api is reading all the images which is stored in this cloud storage bucket and it is detecting the text it is uh, figuring out what uh, what is the language used in this uh, text and if the locale is not ja which means if the local language is not japanese if the text in the image is not japanese it has to translate the text so this is the one it will translate the text then it will upload the text and translation data to bigquery so this is a bigquery table all the results will be uploaded here using the python script we'll upload the results to the bigquery table so this is the complete process before there was a colleague in the team who was performing this entire process now he has moved out to the different team and you have to execute this complete task now so most of the work on the script has been completed and the version you have been given will access the storage bucket and iterate over every image file it finds however the specific api calls that need to be made to find the text in each image and then send the text to the translation api have not had been implemented so most of the work in the script has been completed on already but only this part is not yet implemented completely like uh, finding the text and uh, sending the text to the translation api so this part is not yet implemented you have been given a copy of the work in progress python script and a set of sample images in a cloud storage bucket that is named after your lab project id you have the python script and a set of sample images are already stored in the cloud storage bucket your colleague identified the unfinished parts of the script and commented on the api calls that need to be made there are three unfinished parts in the script that you must complete to make the correct machine learning api calls all of them are preceded with a comment using the label tbd so whatever is not yet finished in the script he has commented it out with this hash tbd the final line of code uploads the results data to bigquery in the script this line is disabled by a comment character when you are satisfied that the rest of the script is working remove the comment character to enable the final line so whatever script they have provided in this only some part of the script has been completed and you have to work on rest of the part so before you work on the script you must prepare your environment by creating a service account with the correct permissions and download the credential file for the account once you have the service account credential you can modify the python script and use it to process the image files so in order for you to work on this python script you need to 
create a service account first and then you have to provide a correct permissions for the service account and you need to download the credential file for that account so once you have all the service account credentials in place you can modify the python script and use it to process the image files so you have to perform all these tasks these are the prerequisites before you work on the python script to complete the challenge the original extracted text locally and translated text data for all the images must be loaded into the bigquery table called image text detail this challenge can be completed only when the original extracted text local and translated text data for all the images are loaded to the bigquery table and this bigquery table is image text detail you have to load all these um, results to this bigquery table and in this script there is last line where it has been commented out you have to uncomment that line once you have successfully processed the image files using the updated python script and uploaded to data to bigquery you must confirm that image data has been successfully processed by running the following query in bigquery so you have to run this uh, query to ensure that the data has been successfully processed so let's move ahead with the task one configure a service account to access the machine learning apis bigquery and cloud storage so here we need to create a new service account that provides credentials for the script so once we have created this account we have to bind that service account with these rules bigquery data editor and storage admin rules let's perform this task one i will take you to the notepad so before taking up the task one let's export some variables here so i'm exporting these variables language locally bigquery role name cloud storage role name service account name so this you can find in your lab only here so the language whatever you get in your lab you have to update it accordingly and locally also and the bigquery role and this cloud storage role as well and the service account name they have not mentioned here so i am creating um, service account with this name you can create whatever service account name you want so let's copy this command let's go back to our cloud console so we will be performing all this activity on our cloud shell so let's activate the cloud shell you can open this in a new window click on continue so whenever you start working on the cloud shell it's always recommended that so you should always set the project id here gcloud config set project and the project id you will get it from this lab only so this project id copy this project id go back to cloud shell paste it here so this will set your project id so let's uh, copy this variables again i'm making use of this variables because in this command line it will be very easy to pass all these values as a variable so let's proceed with the task one configure a service account so here we will be creating a service account let's copy this first command go to cloud shell so here what we are doing is we are creating a service account with this name now the service account is created so let's go back to our notepad now we will be binding these rules bigquery role data editor storage admin so these rules we will be binding along with that we will be binding this role as well so let's copy all these uh, roles go back to our cloud shell let me clear the screen so let's copy paste here now this is complete let's go back to our lab so here you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now we have created a service account and we have binded these roles so this assessment is complete next let's move ahead with the task to create and download a credential file for your service so when you have configured the service account with the permissions we have to download the uh, json format so let's go back to our notepad so let's copy this command now we have this key.json file so this uh, command we just executed so once that is done we need to export this we are performing it now so now this is done click on check my progress and this should be complete now so now this is complete let's move it with the task 3 modify the python script to extract text from image files now we have to copy the file analyze iphone images iphone v2.py from the cloud storage bucket that was created so there is already a file with this name in the cloud storage bucket that we have to copy then we need to modify this python script to extract text from the image files which is stored in the bucket and then we need to save the text data for each file into a text file and that has to be written back to the same bucket so here we need to copy the file analyze hyphen images hyphen v2.py from the cloud storage bucket into the cloud shell 
so i will show where this um, dot py file is located so under navigation menu you have to click on cloud storage here so this will take you to the cloud storage dashboard and this is a bucket name inside this bucket we have this analyze iphone images iphone v2 dot py so if you click on this here you will get gs util uri so you copy this to the clipboard and you update in your notepad so this path i have already updated so we have to execute this command gs util cp and the path this is the storage bucket path followed by the dot so in the cloud shell we will run we will run this command so it will download this dot py file into the cloud shell so this way you have to do it or you can also download this into your local workstation and also you can upload it into the cloud shell so that is also another way so you can download this and you can also upload it but i will be following this method so let me copy this Control c and here we will execute it so this will copy it to the this cloud shell see now this operation is complete now let's proceed with analyzing this file so we will execute this command so let's execute this command so let's edit this python file uh, whatever starts with slash tbd that line we need to edit it here so here in this line we have to update it here press enter so here we need to update it create a vision api image object called image object so this we need to update so this way you need to update next we need to update this detect text in the image and save the response data into an object called response so you need to update this way so here we are uh, passing the image so this way you need to update here here in our lab the local a is so here if you go back here here the local a is ja so let's add back to this so we have to provide here as this ja but since in our lab the target language is uh, ja so i'm providing it as ja it's a japanese so whatever text is in the image all the text needs to be translated into the japanese language so whatever you get in your lab you have to update the locally accordingly so only this part i have updated so let's save this so wherever there was a tbd so wherever this tbd was there all, all these places you need to update it update this python file once you update your python file save it so once this is done let's run this command copy this command So now it's translating. So it's translating all the text in the image to Japanese language now. So once that is done, you can click on check my progress. This should be complete. So this is complete. Only the first part of the script we have modified it. Under the task for modify the Python script to translate the text using the translation API. So non-Japanese a text data. Uh, so this one we have already updated. But what we have noted uh, done is the application can translate text and store the results in the BigQuery. So there is one more thing which we have noted updated. BQ table. So let's check this. So let's go back to our Python script here. Let's edit this again. As you can see here, TBD when the script is working, uncomment the next line. So we need to uncomment this next line. So uncommenting this line will upload the results to BigQuery. So let's save this com save this one. We run that command again. So here you should get this message writing vision API image data to BigQuery. Once you get this image, you can go back to your challenge lab and click on check my progress and this will be complete now. So once you modify that second part, again, you need to run that uh, analyze command. 
So this is complete now. So we need to execute this query. So let's copy this. Here check for BigQuery. This is a one. So I copied that. So let's run this query. So these are the results which we get. So now we can go back to our uh, lab. Here you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now. Now this assessment is complete. So we have successfully completed this lab now. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on Google Cloud. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.